everybody, Mike Maggs here at the Maggs Golf Academy at the Golf Club of Terralago in Indio, California. I'm up on the fourth tee of the south course where we have one of our spectacular views of the entire Coachella Valley. Today I'm going to be talking about a simple, simple, simple way to do your takeaway. I see lots of folks come to me coming up with all sorts of different ideas on how to bring it back. Two main ones that I see the most are going to be a lifting of the arms and getting above the plane or a rolling of the left arm or lead arm and getting below the plane. We can see if that rolls, we're gonna get way below the plane. What we wanna do is stay on the plane. How do we do that? Well, it's really a combination of movements. So the complicated way to think about this is we're going to be lifting the wrists as we rotate our shoulders back. And there'll be some arm lifting as we do that. But for the most part, it's gonna feel a lift and a rotation. Okay. You'll notice that the hands move in a little bit of a diagonal position as the club head lifts up and away. Okay, that's the complicated way to think about it. Let's make it really, really simple. We have our standard grip for the right-handed player. The glove hand thumb is going to be slightly to the right. We'll maybe see one, two, even a third knuckle of the glove hand. Okay, Neutral grip, very standard. What we want to do is simply think about where this glove hand thumb is. It's basically right on top of the grip, or obviously slightly to the right. And all we're gonna do is a little bit of two things, right? We wanna make sure that we bring the hand still a little bit this way as we go back with our shoulders. But as we do that, all we're gonna do is take this thumb that's on top of the grip and put the grip on top of the thumb. On top to on top, okay? Very simple, let me do that again for you. You can see the shaft will be sitting Right on top of that thumb, the weight of the shaft is literally being supported by your glove hand thumb. Okay, one more time just to see it. Hands are gonna go this way a little bit. We're gonna turn back with our shoulders, but our main focus is gonna be getting this shaft right on top of that thumb. Boom, we get there, pretty flat left wrist. We're gonna be in a really good position to come back down into that ball. If you just focus on where your thumb is on the takeaway and practice that, you're gonna get this takeaway down really consistently and get yourself hitting the ball much more, more consistently. So, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll post them below and I'll get to as many as I can. Otherwise, I'll look forward to seeing you again next time. Thank you.